Hi, this is Rich Gerard. As you know, our mission here at Gerard at Large is to connect local people, places, and things by bringing you news from our own backyard. Did you know that GoffstownToday.com has a similar mission? So when we want to know what's happening in Goffstown, Ware, Dunbarton, or New Boston, we go to GoffstownToday.com. Hi, this is Bill Wynn, publisher of GoffstownToday.com. If it's happening in Goffstown, Ware, Dunbarton, or New Boston, even in Pennardville, you can find out about it on GoffstownToday.com. If we know about it, you should too. So I, your humble host, by the way, have been taken to task. I have. Very odd. You know, I, I have a radio show. And that radio show has archives. And those archives actually report what I said. So it is always amazing to me when people, there's this woman in Goffstown. Her name is Holly Tate. I have no idea who Holly Tate is. But I can gather from the letter to the editor she submitted, which wrongly accuses me of saying something I did not say. Not that the Goffstown News would ever bother to go and check the archives to make sure it were accurate, but I guess we'll have to send a letter to the editor. You know what I'm going to do? So I was accused of saying that the Goffstown School District paid for the $60,000 playground behind Bartlett School when, of course, it was a a parent's effort. I never said any such thing. But um, the DeBrulis, that's what we're going to call them now, the DeBrulis have been chirping at us because for some reason, they just don't like the fact that I let John Burt on my radio show and I did not correct his factual information. Forget that I had Elizabeth DeBrule on the show to do the same thing. We gave Ms. DeBrule the opportunity to come on the show and uh, stake her claim without any interference. In fact, she gave me some, I don't know, static. Would static be the right term? So I went back and I literally listened to the interview and I took time marks, you know, I marked when one of them started talking to the end of when they stopped talking and the other back and forth. DeBrule had, oh, my head, more than two to one over Bert and the amount of stuff said. So when I pointed that out to her, she said, oh, well, you did a great job moderating. You are a whole lot more fair than I thought you were going to be. And I had plenty of opportunity to say what I wanted, but for some reason, she did not like the fact that when she believed she caught John Brule, uh, John uh, Burt, saying things that she alleges were not true, that I did not pile on and um, drive the point home, for lack of a better term. So I'm thinking to myself, really? That's not my job. I'm the moderator. <laughs> you are making your points. So I have been apparently the subject of scorn in many circles associated with Ms. DeBrule, including now one where she says, in one clip, I listened to the host referred to the Bartlett Elementary Playground and said that the school district paid for it. Mr. Burt agreed. This information is completely false. Well, Ms. Holly Tate, you're right. The information is completely false because I did not say that the school district paid for it. Mr. Burt did not agree to that. And so your information is completely false. What I said when Mr. Burt was talking about the $14 million in renovations pro- proposed by your warrant articles or pro- uh, proposed in various warrant articles, oh, the coffee pot is smiling. DJ Dave is here. What I said regarding that was they just did a whole lot of renovations over there at the Bart Elementary School, didn't they? That's what Mr. Burt referred to. They did not mean the school district. I did never, never did the word school district leave my mouth. 
And in fact, not only did they do a playground, I said something about a, a playground that got put in. I'll have to go back and listen because this was waiting for me in my mailbox this morning. But um, that's okay. What I'm going to do, Steve, what do you think? You think I should do this? I have several email that Ms. De Brule sent following her interview on the show. I also have several email that she sent to other people regarding me and the show. They were forwarded to me by various people who received them. She was very nice in the email to me, not so nice in the email to others about me. Now, what do you think? You think I should make that public? And if Ms. De Brule and her allies are going to continually misrepresent what happened here on this show, you think I should make it public and make an issue of Ms. De Brule, who accuses John Burt of being a liar and show her to be two-faced? What do you think, Steve? Should I, I take her out? I think, um, I mean, that's certainly a uh, an option. You know, the problem with her is, though, those emails are, remember, you know, the angry elephant hooks it? Oh, yeah. You know, I've said about him, if, if, if brevity is the soul of wit, then he's the most unfunny person on the planet. He's an angry elf. <laughs> well, the truth of the matter is, if brevity is the soul of wit and he's the most unfunny person on the planet, then he has found his soulmate because she is equally as long. Uh, so, oh, my blog. I don't know. We might break the blog with all of her. Oh. Just brutal. We might break the blog. See, this is uh, good morning, by the way. Uh, hey, David. I uh, I ceased to set my alarm last night, so my apologies for being late today. It's all right. We have it handled, my friend. But um, see, this is all kind of changed kind of quickly because I know the day she was here and left, she was actually kind of excited that she got as much time to speak as she did. Oh, I she was very exact, complimentary to my face. Her words were. You were a lot fairer than I thought you were going to be. Yeah. Right? Well, those, is that and she verbatim? said she'd come back. So I wonder what changed. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, who knows? Because this was less than two weeks ago, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Or about two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. So, my goodness, Rich. So, Rich, is she is attacking it? you publicly? Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. And apparently there was a really nasty Facebook post she put up about me. And I'm not friends with her on Facebook, so I didn't see it, but I heard about it. And uh, so I sent her an email asking her about the post. And she sent me back a note two or three days later saying, you've shown your true colors. I'm through with you. I said, I sent her back a note saying, what? Because I asked you about a nasty post you put up on about me. Those are my true colors. I think the woman needs medication, frankly. Talk, talk to the hand. <laughs> yeah. I think she needs medication. I really do. It's just kind of an about face from two weeks ago. I'm no, just that's why, this is why I'm telling you. It's a medication problem. She's off her meds. She's off her meds. But what do you expect from a woman who tried to remove fixing the roof at Mountain View Middle School so the little children could have rain dancing on their head in class? So, Rich, basically... You you demonstrate in an oh my blog post the bipolarness of her emails. Absolutely, and I'll tell you, Steve, it will make your head spin to see the emails she sent me and the emails that have been forwarded to me by other people. Oh, we're not even talking Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde. Is it worth it though? Oh yeah, yeah, I think so. Hey, listen, if she's going to run around and accuse people of lying, misrepresent what we have done. And send out entirely different emails, you know, the kind of person who says one thing to your face, but something completely different when you're when you're not looking. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. You know what? And I at, see that in my travels, too. At, and all I'm going to do, I mean, I'm not going to make an issue of it. I'm just going to let the people of Goffstown determine for themselves whether or not Ms. De Brule is someone they think adequately represents her. I will let her rise or fall on her own words. I will just make them public. Hi, this is Rich Gerard. As you know, our mission here at Gerard at Large is to connect local people, places, and things by bringing you news from our own backyard. Did you know that GoffstownToday.com has a similar mission? 
So when we want to know what's happening in Goffstown, where Dunbarton or New Boston, we go to GoffstownToday.com. Hi, this is Bill Wynn, publisher of GoffstownToday.com. If it's happening in Goffstown, Ware, Dunbarton, or New Boston, even in Penardville, you can find out about it on GoffstownToday.com. If we know about it, you should too.